Yo, Randall, I'm here. Where are you? What is that? Yo, Randall. Where are you? Yo. What is that? What is going on everyone? Today, we're working on the Supra. So last time we left off with the Supra, what 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 did we end up with? I don't even remember. <laughs> it's like the rings. Three weeks ago. Oh yeah, the rings. Uh, we did absolutely nothing. Yeah, nothing. The rings were the wrong size, or yeah, yeah. But since then, we've got rings. Got the correct rings. Voila. <laughs> but there's another hiccup with this M motor. There's always a hiccup with this motor. The rod bearings are wrong. They're backwards from what's supposed to go in there. The tangs are on the wrong side. So what are we going to do today? I'm going to go ahead and file the last ring, get the ring, then we can go ahead and slide the pistons down in there. Okay. Let me put the front cover on. If I've got the, I think I have the rear main seal, we can put the rear, rear cover on. And if they're still done, we can break into the head. Ooh. All right. Let's get to work, son. So you kind of saw us do this on uh, my motor, but uh, we're going to stick the rings down inside the bore and uh, measure the ring gap there with the feeler, feeler gauge and file if necessary. Top ring's good. Top ring's good. That's what happened last time. Top rings were good, but the... Second ring. Second ring. Out of spec. So did you did you get new rings or? No, after some research. After research, found out that the rings were okay. I should be going bigger than factory. Bigger than factory. Bigger than factory. All that boost. All that boost from that big old turbo. <laughs> we gotta grind. Grindy grindy. So we got this spiffy little uh, ring grinder. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna file this here, this here ring with this spiffy ring filer, this precision machining tool that we have here. was that just in case you know someone's following this step by step we need to tell them it's wrong anyway yeah, all right so rings filed and we're gonna stick it back in the board and check it again Good job. We also got this spiffy ring groove cleaner. Ring groove cleaner. I know we said before to use a broken ring. Which you, I mean, which you can, but <laughs> this is so much easier. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Rock Auto. I think it was less than like twenty bucks. So these are stock GE pistons. 
going into a GTE block, right? Yeah. Why are you, why are you doing that? So I can blow it up faster. Oh, okay. A little bit higher compression. Gotcha. For spooling that huge turbo I had. Is that my turbo over there? No. Nothing to see here. Move along. Hmm. Are you ready for it? I am. Your motors all together? Ready to set down inside your G-Pop? Mm, almost. So you ready to sell G-Pop yet? Am I ready to sell it? Yeah. Why would I sell it? So you can get a Mustang. It's with you and Mustangs. So you and... Your boy can ride around. Oh. <laughs> no. Why not? He's just, he's, he's young and naive. He, he just, he doesn't know. Always pay attention to the dot. One these, the dot goes up. The dot goes up. are on don't rip it this time <laughs> you remember from last time i didn't rip it okay it came pre-ripped the gasket was ripped but since then we got a new one or randall got a new one and we were going to put the pistons in inside but not put the bearings on yet but uh we decided against that because you know putting the bearings on you know, having the right bearings would make it a lot easier when installing the pistons and installing the bearings. So we're going to put the front cover on. How come all water pumps look like that? So whose car do you think will run first, mine or yours? Yours. You think so? Yes. Whose motor's together? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Who has all the right bearings? That don't mean anything. Yes, it does. I can't even get the right ones. Mine's got all those ancient electronics on it that aren't made anymore. I'm sure yours has <laughs> I was about to say. the same thing. But How old your car? Older than yours. By what, two years? Yeah. But I'm sure that they're probably a little easier to get a hold of than mine because nobody really knows what it is still to this day wow that is a big difference you're on the wrong side. Oh. Oh wow, that is a big difference. <laughs> That's the compressor <laughs> side. Oh yeah, that is a big difference. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's just a little size comparison. This is the stock TDO5 12A compressor wheel and this is my 16G front cover that looks like a motor kind of you squint real hard always label your bolts <laughs> well, Take it from us. Two people that don't. 
that label nothing. Yeah. So what kind of metal head gasket are you going to use? I'm not going to use a metal head gasket. You use composite, son. What? You heard me. Composite. But why? Because I want this to be doomed from the start. <laughs> well, it already is. Just because of the... It's us. <laughs> It's us and uh, it's a Toyota 7M GTE. Do you know what the problem is, sir? Why they pop head gaskets? No. Okay. Why do they pop head gaskets? Because I said so. No. <laughs> it's more due to the head bolts than it is the actual gasket itself. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. They didn't torque them down tight enough. It's almost like a conspiracy. Maybe Toyota had a, a deal with a head gasket company. So the head gasket company said, hey, don't torque those bolts down all the way. So they buy our head gaskets. Maybe the Mark IV came back through the future. And said, we want to be the best Supra. So they sabotaged the poor old 7M. Mm. It's very possible. Because we, we all know time travel is possible. Everybody's, I'm sure, seen Back to the Future. Can't make fly. <laughs> so you're really going with the composite head gasket, huh? I'm really going with the composite head gasket. Is that so hard to understand, sir? Yeah, it is. Why? Because um, I thought metal was the way to go. Let us know what you think. Well, that's kind of a loaded question, isn't it? Yeah, let us know what you think about composite head gaskets with a 7M block and head. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of flack. Oh, wow. Um, oh. More than you ever know. <laughs> That's just life, isn't it? I'll be shunned by the 7M community. Yeah? How dare you. Pick a bolt, any bolt. That's pretty much what it's turned into. <laughs> Also, let us know whose car you think will will run first. What is it, a challenge now? Yeah, that could be another part of the challenge. Whose car will run first? Just adding a little fuel to the fire, trying to get these things done to give our our subscribers better videos of us doing like burnouts and racing and doing cool stuff blowing up motors so we can take them right back out and yeah re redo what we just did because we use the composite head gasket yeah okay <clears throat> maybe one day I can have we'll actually show our subscri subscribers the light of day <laughs> other than being in garages <laughs> at five in the morning yeah at five five in the morning what's that look like um, snorkel? A snorkel? I don't know. It looks like every other water pump gasket out there. <laughs> so... Every every Thursday night around well eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, there's this live stream that uh, we get on uh, every week. Um, it's hosted by a channel called 
old car auto guy and straight six fan. Um, and this past week on Thursday, they actually gave us a pretty big shout out. Um, so just want to say thank you to those guys. Thank Jason, you. Jason and Grant. Um, I will post links to their channels in our description. Uh, so go check them out and subscribe to them because we said so. Also, our uh, our good buddy Tim Powell uh, sent me something in the mail. Um, it's a little clip or something. I, I guess you would call it a clip that goes on um, the armrest of Conquests and Stereons. But I forgot that at my house. So whenever I get back there later today, I'll show you guys that and tell you how to get a hold of him and purchase them. So you're going with the composite head gasket. Yeah. That's the metal one. Not that one. Why don't you put that one on? Hmm? Why don't you put that one on? That's but it's metal. Shouldn't you put a metal head gasket on a 7M GTE? Hey, it's overrated, okay? Here, I'll I'll just set this on the block. That's where it should go. Right there? On the block, yeah. The metal one should go. That's how that works? The metal one should should go there. That's where that goes? Instead of the composite. But I like the composite. I don't I don't know if this is really you. Who do you think it is? Uh, the Randall I know would go metal. Do you need help with that? It's fine, I'll struggle. <laughs> Just ask. Yeah, it's okay. That's a lot of valves to take out. I'm glad I only have eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the back of the 7M head, there's a water port that's blocked off. On the block, the water port's open. So it's called the Zulu. I'm guessing that's how it's spelled. It's like it's Z U L U U. Probably screwed that up too. Uh, he came up with the idea to drill that out. So if you want to look it up, it's called the Zulu mod. So what you do is take it to a machine shop and have them do it so you don't mess it up. <laughs> but instead, we're going to do it. We're gluttons. <laughs> Punishment. So yes, we're going to ruin it ourselves. metal shavings and stuff this is the head's gonna get stripped and cleaned and all that jazz
Zulu mod in full effect. <laughs> All right, so I made it back to my house and uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, armrest uh, clip that uh, Tim sent us. Um, so it goes right here and these clips are notorious for breaking. So he went ahead and made his own replacement. That's it right there. That guy goes in there, I believe. But I'm missing the spring that goes along with it. But let's see, he attached a little letter. It says, that's an our motoring. Hey guys, here's the center console latch I made to replace the 30 plus year old brittle broken latcher, latches in almost every StarQuest. I have these for sale on StarQuestClub.com and I'm going to put a link to his group buy in the description uh, for anyone interested in getting one. He says, I have ideas for more parts I'll be making in the coming months as well, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, if anyone requests a, for, has a request for a part, you can send them an email at not a DeLorean. <laughs> at gmail.com and he'll see what he can do. So that's his that's his email right there. And I'll put that in the description as well. Um, he says keep up the 80s love and keep the videos coming. There isn't much content out there for these cars so you guys are providing a great service to the community. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um, I appreciate the hard work you guys put into what you're doing and showing two to three ways of doing it the wrong way before showing it the right way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Usually our first, second, and third are the wrong way, but we, you know, eventually get it right. It says again, thanks, and good luck with the rest of your builds. Thanks, Tim Powell. And this, and this is his 87 um, Starion that he's working on. I believe he he uh, he, uh, he he told me that he uh, just got an 83 hood for it, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so if you want to get a new clip for your armrest, go ahead and hit Mr. Tim Powell up, and he'll get you all set up. No. Yeah. Dude. How long do you think it takes for someone to call me out on that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for today. Uh, hopefully next week we can get the uh, rods in it and the pistons. Uh, oil pan, finish the oil pump. Do some work on the head. Then uh, the G54 and the 7M will be pretty close to the same state. Thanks again to Jason from Old Car Auto Guy and Grant from Straight Six Fan for the shout out. Thank you. Also thank you to Tim Powell for sending in that clip. Uh, again, his uh, information is gonna be in the description. So check out um, those two channels, Old Car Auto Guy and Straight Six Fan and you know, go ahead and subscribe to them. And uh, go ahead and check out uh, Tim's uh, information to get your clip for your Starion or Conquest. And these sweet hats and that shirt, not this one, can be picked up at snrmotoring.com so you can show your SNR motoring love. Love. Just like that. <laughs> and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there. Even if you don't, hit Even, it. Anyways. Yeah, just hit it. Just, yeah. just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next bye one. Bye bye. Bye. Keep on motor.